Hi there, this is Ching Kitan, also known as Mr. Ching Positive. I'm pretty excited about this session. Let's talk about the things that a person needs to give up in order for you to become rich and wealthy. Okay, before we do that, please do subscribe at my YouTube. Pag hindi pa kayo subscribe subscribe po. And then click the bell button so that you'll be notified pag may bago tayong mga videos. Not only that, kung kayo po nasa Facebook, follow me and then also click see first. Click see first po para may mga bago tayong ikanga info at video malalaman nyo rin. Uh, marami pong taong gustong yumaman at uh, parating tanan sa akin, Chinky, paano ba talaga yumaman? I want to help you to become wealthy and rich. However, people just don't understand. Some people just don't understand. The one that's really preventing them really to become wealthy and rich is not because of the lack of money, lack of opportunities, lack of probably uh, people to help them. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, it's never about the outside forces. Sometimes we have also to look from the internal part. Uh, sa totoo lang, ang pinakaunang kontrabida natin sa buhay ay walang iba kundi ang ating sarili. We do not, and, uh, probably some of us do not even notice that we are sabotaging our own success. Tayo po ang sumisira ng ating kinabukasan. Tayo po mismo ang nagnanakaw ng ating sariling pangarap. Really, prove it. So allow me to share with you uh, the things that really are preventing a person from becoming wealthy and rich. Number one is what we call as the limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. When you talk about limiting beliefs, masyado tayong ika nga eh, yung naka ano ba, uh, we live in a society na parating we are taught not to really dream big. Na masyado ka naman ika nga ay mangarap kung malaki, di ba? Madalas natin narinig sa ating mga ika nga matatanda, huwag ka tumakbo, baka madapa ka, huwag ka umakyat, baka mahulog ka, huwag kang mangarap, baka maabot mo yan. So in other words, because of those negative uh, things that we have often here, and masyado ka naman malakas, malaki kong mga harap, ang yabang mo naman, alam mo, sino ka, sino kang mayaman. So, ang nangyayari niyan, nagkakaroon po tayo ng limiting beliefs. So, instead of us reaching our full potential, ang kadalasan po ng mga tao, they settle for less. They don't go for the best. Like for example, yung anong limiting belief is what we call as the, ano yung, sa shame mentality. When you say sa shame mentality, kung nag-iisip tayo, pag maliit, kayang-kaya. Pero pag malaki na, hirap na hirap. Kumita ng 15,000 pesos a month or 10,000, kaya. Pero sabi mo, kikita ka ng 1.5 million pesos a month. Huh? Imposible. So, number one factor that can really prevent a person from becoming rich is no other than their limiting beliefs. Number two, okay. Number two is what we call as negative thinking. When you talk about negative thinking, Ito naman po, yung uh, ano yung parang naiisip mo agad na nega. Naiisip mo na hindi mag-work. Naiisip mo na mag-fail ka. Naiisip mo paano kung hindi mangyari. So, naunahan ka na po ng negative. Like for example, papasok ka sa negosyo. Eh, paano na kung malugi? Paano kung hindi kumita? Paano kung walang bumili? Sasakay ka ng aeroplano? Paano kung mag-crash? Paano kung, let's say, di ba, nagigets nyo ba? Because of those negative thinking, ang nangyayari po, ang nangyayari po, eh, ika nga, nalilimit na ulit yung ating beliefs. So, negative thinking is another what? <laughs> Killer of what we call as our potential and our dreams. Now, let's go to number three. Dwelling on the past. Another thing that can really, can really destroy your opportunity to become wealthy and rich is yun nga, you live in the past. Alam mo, Kasi hindi ako nakapag-aral, kasi mahirap lang kami, kasi wala akong ikangay, opportunity. Alam mo, nag-fail kasi ako dati. Alam mo, if you always dwell in the past and you live in the past, you know what will happen? You will never be able to move what? Forward. Very important. It's okay for us to learn from the past. But it's very important for us to learn not to dwell on the past past. Because yung past po is not your permanent address. Dumaang ka lang doon. Your permanent address is your what? Your future. Diba? I always tell people, you and I can never change our past. Our past hurts, our past mistakes, our past failures. But you and I can sure change our future by making the right decision what? Today. I want you to also reflect. Are you a person who dwells also on the Past. Another reason why people cannot really become wealthy and rich is because they resist change. Ayaw nila talagang magbago. <laughs> One thing I've learned in life, the only thing that is permanent in this world is what we call as what? Change. We don't want the time to come na because of the lack of opportunity, probably you lost your job or probably you lost your business because you refuse to change. How many people and companies that I personally met because they refuse to change, they're so afraid of change, you know what happened? 
uh, what basically happened, they lost their business, they lost their job. Sa totoo lang, very important po na talagang, kung gusto mo talagang umaman, you got to learn how to spot, how to spot the difference or how to spot change before it comes. You, in other words, we got to learn how to read the handwriting on the wall before it really what happens. Ang dami na pong nagbabago po from technology, from the way we run our business, from the way we operate, from the way we do banking, from the way we... Marami na pong pagbabago. So, I don't want you to fall in the trap of resisting change and that's the reason why it will prevent you from becoming rich. Another reason, another reason is what? Blaming others. Oo. Isa pang dahilan yan eh, kung eh, mahilig kang manisi ng ibang tao. May mga ibang tao, may kakilala ba kayo? Uh, pag tinanong, oh, ano ba nangyari sa'yo? Ba't di ka naging successful? Ay, alam mo kasi hindi ako pinamanahan ng magulang ko eh. Hindi ako tinulungan ng kapatid ko. Wala talaga nag-support talaga sa akin. Yung parang, hindi na taong na victim mindset. They start blaming other people. Alam mo, if you are fault finder, if you are... Uh, you want to blame other people for the ikanga and the mishap or probably the negative things that are happening in your life, you will never be able to move on. Kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag, again, ng victim mentality or victim mindset. And that is not healthy. Another major reason I do believe also why people cannot be wealthy and rich is because they feel that they have the need to impress what? Others. Yung feeling talaga nila na kailangan nila ika nga eh, magpakita ng tao, kailangan ika nga eh, magpag, uh, magpakita na mas may kaya po sila. To the point, to the point, alam mo nangyayari, <laughs> They are going to resort to borrowing money. Mangungutang po sila, gagamitin po nilang credit card po nila to buy the things that they cannot afford to impress the people that they do not like. So in the process, they would live a lifestyle that they cannot afford. They will get into debt. And once you get into debt, believe me, you will never become rich and wealthy, especially when you acquire what we call as what? Bad debt. One more reason before we end, I do believe the reason why some people cannot become rich and cannot become wealthy be because they just simply do not know how. Wala silang kaalam-alam. Hindi nila alam kung paano yumaman. Hindi nila alam kung anong gagawin nila. Hindi nila alam paano sila dumiskarte. Sa totoo lang, ito ay natutunan ko sa buhay. Ha? Hindi mo makukuha ang pagyaman sa sipag at syaga lamang. Ulitin ko, hindi mo makukuha ang pagyaman sa sipag at syaga lamang. Maraming tao kong kakilalang masipag ang syaga, pero hanggang gayon, di pa rin yung mayaman. Let me prove it. Ang karpintero ba, masipag? Yes. Ang uh, pintor ba, matyaga? Yes. Mayaman ba? Hindi. Because kulang. It cannot be only sipag at syaga. Uh, if in order for us to become wealthy, let me end with this. You need to what? Learn four things. Okay? Number one, sipag. Okay? Number two, tiyaga. Number three, karunungan. Number four, diskarte. Ulit. Sipag, tiyaga, karunungan, diskarte. Sipag, tiyaga, karunungan, diskarte. Kahit masipag ang matiyaga ka, pero pag wala kang alam, walang magagawa. Wala kang mangyayari. Forever carpenter ka. Forever tubero ka. Forever pintor ka. Dapat, hindi ka lang masipag, hindi ka lang matyaga, hindi ka lang marunong. Dapat meron ka rin, ano, diskarte. Alam mo kung anong gagawin mo para makalabas ka sa sitwasyon na yon. So, very important, no? Like for example, karpentero ka. Dapat masipag, matyaga ka, marunong ka. Hindi lang carpentry. Pati electrician, pati painting, pati sa tubig, lahat, alam mo na, para pagdating na pa noon, foreman ka na. Once na foreman ka na, maggrupo ka na, and then you become a what? Uh, what we call as namamakyaw ka na. Pag namamakyaw ka na, magiging contractor ka na. From contractor, magiging developer ka na. In other words, pa-level up ka ng pa-level up. Doon ka yayaman. So as you notice again what I just mentioned to you guys, in order for us to become wealthy, we have to remove some things. Limiting belief. Negative thinking, diba? dwelling on the past, blaming others, resisting what? Change, the need to impress others, to prove that we can afford the things that we cannot really afford. Last but not the least is what? The lack of what? Knowledge. Hindi alam kung ano ang gagawin. So I hope you won't fall into this trap, and especially kung gusto mo madagdagan. Ikaw, nanunod ka ngayon. And then, nakaka-relate kasi na sabi mo, ang tanong ko, gusto mo ba talagang umaman? Gusto mo na bang makalabas sa iyong utang? Gusto na bang, ikaw nga, to know how to make more money? If you want to know, the best way and the best solution in your situation is to gain financial knowledge. To get financial education. Alam mo, pag hindi ka natuto talaga, maniwala ka, forever trap ka. Forever na, yun nga. Having one income right now is never enough. Oh, 
You're, you have money, but you don't know how to invest your money and grow your money. Yung pera mo, liliit. O, na, nasa ano ka? May, may opportunity ka na pwede ka mag-retail, pwede ka magbenta, pero hindi mo alam paano magbenta. It will never be enough. So, if you want really to learn on how to save, how to budget, how to get out of debt, how to invest, how to prepare for retirement, how to sell, paano magnegosyo, good news. Lahat punto, may good news po ako sa inyo. I have a special program. I have a special show called ChinkTV.com. ChinkTV.com. Ano po tong ChinkTV.com na ito? Let me introduce you. ChinkTV.com is just like the Netflix of financial education. Everything that you need to learn about money, it's already inside. I have a special program. It teaches you on how to what? Save. Ipon pa more. I have a special program, then special course that teaches you on how to what? Start your own business. Juan Negociante. I have a special course there that teaches people on how to retire at what? 50. I have a special course there that teaches people on how to start your own business from scratch. In other words, lahat ng kailangan mo to know about financial education, to earn money, to save money, to grow money, to budget your money, it's already in there. So if you are interested, if you are interested to know more about financial education, please go to chinktv.com. Chinktv.com at mamimili na po kayo ng courses na nandoon. And some people ask, okay, Chinky, how much is per course? Per course is only 799 and then you will learn a lot. Ang return mo dyan, hindi lang 799. And may good news po ako, more or less, we have already six courses there as of right now. Six courses at 799 more or less, worth that's around 4,800 pesos ang total value package. But right now, we have a special offer that we want to offer you a special offer as of right now instead of only enrolling at one course let's say you enroll at two course two courses that's around more or less 1,600 799 times 2 you know what we will offer you we will offer you free access to all all access na po. All access to the other courses. Instead of getting two courses you will get a total of what? Six courses for one whole year. And not only that, may good news pa ako sa inyo. Do you want to hear another good news? Another good news, yung mga succeeding na mga courses, di ba? Uh, more or less, we're going to add at least once every two months. Once every two months or more. So, if we add once every two months na courses, that will be an additional six to eight more courses before the end of the year. So, eight courses times another uh, 700, uh, around 800, that's now 6,400 or originally. So, more or less, we're talking another value of around 6,400. And then the next eight courses, ito yung good news, the next eight courses will also be for free. Libre na po. So, if you want to enroll right now, enroll right now, take the all-access course so that you can avail of all the courses for one whole year. So if you're interested, all you need to do, if all you need to do is just type the word called all access, all access in your screen right now, all access, and I will send you a link. I will send you a private link so that you will be able to join us and register so that you'll be able to learn and watch so you can start already your journey to become wealthy and rich.